Hey, hey everyone, and uh, welcome in. It's a Monkey Mar. Before we get into today's video, please make sure you uh, click that subscribe uh, button, the bell for notifications, and of course, the like. Let's get right into this case, and it was one that I said, uh, Mar, don't touch on it, but I have to. So the Amber Alert that was issued for Armadre Antoine Marquis Argument describes this case as an abduction. Police in Wells, Texas need the public's help in finding a missing infant born just five weeks ago. Jeez, bless his little heart. All right, guys, let's get right into this Amber Alert that is still out of Wells, Texas for the five-week-old our madre Antoine Marquis Argumon. We're just going to call him our madre. So police in Wells, Texas need the public's help in finding a missing infant born just five weeks ago. So a madre was last seen Friday morning near the 500 block of Old Forest Road in Wells, Texas, according to an Amber Alert issued for the newborn. Authorities confirm they have located a person of interest who has been detained in connection of our madre's disappearance who is the father we are questioning the last known person to be with the child a statement from the police we have not located the child ktre reports the man in custody is the infant's father deandre argumon it is unclear what charges argumon was being held on and information on his attorney if he has one was unavailable Monday morning, which is today, September 21st, 2020. Police have also seized Argumon's truck. The Amber Alert for Armadre describes the case as an abduction. Investigators believe the baby is in grave and immediate danger. Armadre has black hair, brown eyes, and he was last seen wearing a diaper. Mm. The Texas Rangers have joined the search for the child. Anyone with information about Armadre's abduction or whereabouts is urged to call the Cherokee County Sheriff's Office at 903-683-2271. And I am going to post that number below in the description. I'll tell you what too, I'm going slow with this. I also want to wait and see what else is going to come out. And hopefully the baby is going to be found okay. So this is a couple hours ago. Volunteers in Wells coordinate search effort for missing five week old a baby. So KTRE volunteers in the community of Wells coordinated search teams Monday morning to help find a missing five week old baby boy. State officials issues an Amber Alert last week for Armadre Antoine Marquis Argumon. The infant was last seen around 7.30 a.m. Friday in the 500 block of Old Forest Road in Wells. So we're going to have to take a road trip. Family and community members organize search teams to scour areas around the home. The reason why we're doing it right here is it's the area where he was last seen at so we're just going to start at home and work our way out said jackie argumon the child's cousin search members are looking for baby items or clothing anything that looks out of place or areas that look recently disturbed maybe something that was just put there fresh not something that's been there many many months argumon added since an amber alert was issued investigators with the texas rangers have joined the case investigators arrested armadre's father deandre argumon friday on unrelated charges and i'm looking for them too and his little mugshot Family members said DeAndre was the last person seen with Armadre, but he told authorities he gave the child to the boy's mother. Jackie, Jackia said details could be sorted out later. What's important now was making sure her five-week-old cousin is found safe. He said he gave the baby to the boy's mother and she's nowhere to be found. She left town for whatever reason, she said, their stories are back to back. He pointed the finger. We can't deal with them. So we got to figure out where this baby is. Hmm. 
So, so are they saying that our Madre's mother is nowhere to be found? Hmm. All right, we're going to have to go have a little nosy investigation. All right, let's go see the area and let's go see what we can find out about the mother or the father. Okay, so I had never heard of Wells, Texas. And like I said before, I like to know kind of what I'm talking about, get a little visual. So Wells is a town in Cherokee County, Texas. Population was 790 at the 2010 census. So let's go have a look at the area where little Armadre was last seen. So let's take a road trip into Wells, Texas and check out the scenery. And as we do that, I am going to see if I can pull up an address where the father and maybe the mother lived. So maybe we can see a little bit about who they are. So let's go. Mr. DeAndre Marquis has a P.O. box. But he's over here in this area. So let's go have a look. Let's go right outside the post office. Now this is definitely a small little town. Very small. Like they might not even have but a school light small. Yeah, so Lufkin is a little south, but it looks like it's um got a little bit of a population rather than over here at fourteen hundred. And I also did a background check because the only one that seems to have a physical address and not a post office box you know, they might not even have um, mailmen that deliver out to these places. Like, this is rural. This is definitely rural Texas. And what is that, a high school? It's probably all the schools in one. DeAndre has the bank that's over here in Wells which is right up here. Found a rap sheet on that boy that is super long, so let's have a look at that. Here is the Wells Police Department. Let's see what street view we're in. 2018, December explains Frosty. I wonder if that is where DeAndre is being held or if that's where he's been spending the night since he's been arrested. Huh. All right, let's go have a look at this guy's record because he's definitely been in trouble and he has been in trouble recently. Okay, so here we go with DeAndre Argumons. And this is probably not all of it, but this is what I found. And after a few years of crimes and going to jail and a little bit of a rap sheet, I thought... Yeah, I'm good. So, these are case files of his court date, his hearings, what went down. I mean, this guy definitely has five years Texas Department of Criminal Justice. Here are some more stuff on him from 2005 out to 2012. But you can't see any of this. I've tried. Oh. Okay, we're not going to do that now. Let's see. And here we go. This was in 2015. The booking date. Third degree felony. Driving to third degree. Third or more with while intoxicated. And then a class B misdemeanor theft prop under 50. Failed to identify fugitive intent, give false info. And that was 2015. And here we got him in 2017. Charges evading arrest detention with vehicle, parole violation, and he more theft, second degree felony. So he definitely has been 
they probably know him in Wells, Texas. Small little town like that, and he's been causing some havoc for a while. Now the question is, I'm not sure because I haven't been looking into it, and I'm going to wrap this video up, but who is the mother of the baby? Okay, so I kind of combined his record onto a word pad just to give you an idea. Am I going to read them all? Absolutely not. If you want to pause and look, go ahead. But this is what I've gathered. And remember, two of these cases are from what I showed you previously, his booking pictures. But this is what he's up to. So it looks like he's going from Dallas County. So that was one that we saw in one of the case files. Smith County. I know he's got possession of marijuana. I saw possession of cocaine. Yeah, he's definitely a naughty boy. Where is this baby at? And now he's saying that the mom took the baby and he sits in jail and I keep checking and I do pray that the baby is found safe of course and as I make this video I just have this strange feeling that something is going to unfold so I'm not even halfway through and we could just scroll 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 forever yeah I'm definitely gonna have to speed this up I might just go ahead and attach this to my drive if you guys want to check it out. Oh, I bet they definitely know him in Wells County. My finger's hurting from scrolling. All right, that's it. All right, guys, with that, I'm going to wrap it up. I am going to stay on top of this story when I can in between working and doing things in the real world but everyone thank you for coming in thank you for watching please like or dislike whichever you prefer and uh, subscribe everyone have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world and stay vigilant i am out